Dubai's Emirates Airlines is reviewing its fleet requirements in light of the demise of the Airbus A380, uh, A380 and the deteriorating global economy. Now, Emirates President Sir Tim Clark says the current economic slowdown is already affecting uh, the company's business. I spoke to him a little earlier today ahead of the World Aviation Festival tomorrow. We're seeing signs of uh, diminishing demand, rate of growth falling off, not going negative, but slowing. Uh, of course, it's beneficial for us if the oil price comes down and, and remains down. So uh, we will take advantage of, of that going forward. But uh, certainly not just Emirates, but most of the carriers, the international long haul carriers, are facing problems with regard to what is happening on the global economy today. And this is driven by not just the trade, potential trade wars or trade wars between um, the, the major parties today, but all sorts of other things, whether it be the geopolitics of the regions, the socio-economic political reasons, um, in perhaps in Europe, in other places of the world. So we're not in a good place at the moment. Uh, but we'll deal with it. Do you expect things to improve or do you expect things to remain as they are? Or do you think actually uh, things are going to get worse from here? What, what are you planning for? Well, I think it, it, this is a particularly diff, 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 difficult time for everybody. In the past, uh, Emirates has always been particularly optimistic about the, the future, uh, as, particularly as we've, we've uh, experienced all sorts of uh, adversity in, in our particular region over the years that we've, we've, we've ex existed. But this time, it is more, perhaps more structural in terms of what the global economy is going to look like in about another five or seven years. Uh, we see a major trade rebalancing going on. You can call it what you like or the reasons for it, but there is a rebalance going on. And the effect of that is, uh, is, is, is causing a slowdown. Now, whether this will continue as it is, um, is anybody's guess. At, guess. at the moment, uh, I don't see any green shoots. I do see it progressively getting worse. Uh, when that will bottom out, I can't be sure. Uh, but as far as uh, global demand for air travel, that is likely to fall uh, probably by one or two percentage points over the next two or three years, in my opinion. And the airline community is going to have to deal with that. Now, whether that's been driven by the things I've mentioned or the concerns through the environmental uh, lobbies throughout the, the, uh, the, the world today, uh, it, there, there's a hotspot of reasons why this could push us a little bit further southwards before we start seeing some kind of bottoming out. So what are we talking about? Maybe three to five years, in my view. How's that going to affect the way you plan for your business? At the moment, you're looking at 787s versus 777Xs. You're figuring out whether or not you need more A350s or more A330s from Airbus. Are you basically, as a result of what you're seeing on the kind of the, the economic landscape, kind of re-examining your fleet expansion, re-examining the type of aircraft you need? Like, is this a wholesale kind of bottom-up review of what you do? Well, I think it's in the public domain that, that, that with the demise of the 380, Emirates has had to look at a range of other alternatives, albeit smaller than the 380, uh, to maintain the, the uh, structure of the network today and the fleet that supports that and the sizing of the w individual units within the fleet. 